Here's a Word document that someone sent me through email. We all know it's not a good idea to blindly open files that someone sent you on the internet. But I'm just going to download it. I'm not even thinking about opening it. I'm just downloading it to my computer. Okay, the file is downloaded and now I go to the location where the file is downloaded and what was that? I got a message saying that I was hacked and when I clicked OK, it opened up the Rickroll YouTube video automatically. Now I am restating this. I did not open the file. I just downloaded it and browsed to its location in File Explorer with the preview pane enabled. So I was only previewing the file. And that was enough for the hacker to hack me. He could even get a reverse shell to my computer and do literally anything on it. This is the recently discovered Folina exploit, which is assigned as CVE 2022-30190. In this video, I will show you how this exploit was discovered, how it works, and how to protect yourself from it. And I'm not even kidding you, there is still no patch for this exploit at the time of recording this video. So watch this video until the end to find out how to stay safe and how to protect yourself from this. Before continuing this video, let me take a moment to thank the sponsors of this video. This video is sponsored by AppMySite.com. With AppMySite.com, you can quickly convert your website into a native mobile application for both Android and iOS. That's right. You don't even have to write a single line of code and you don't even need the help of a programmer. It's as simple as entering the link to your website, choosing the app appearance, icon, themes, background, choose what content you want to display on your app and that's it. The AI will automatically create your application from your website. You can then preview your app and download the APK or IPA file depending on whether you are building an Android or an iOS app. The coolest thing is that you can also integrate your app with Firebase, chat system and Google ad mob, which enables you to even monetize your app and make money from it. You can also automatically publish updates to your apps from your dashboard itself. You can even push unlimited notifications to your apps users from your dashboard. All your apps maintenance is done by app my site and you don't have to worry about a thing. So go ahead and check out appmysite.com and convert your website into a native mobile app. You can even start for absolutely free of cost. The link will be in the description below. It all started when a security researcher named Naosek on Twitter posted a word file that he found on the internet that seemed suspicious. In the document.xml.rels file of the word document, it was referencing an external HTML file that is hosted on the website called xmlformats.com. In that HTML file that is hosted on xmlformats.com, there is something interesting. There is a normal script tag and inside the script tag, it sets the window.location.href to some string like this. Notice here that instead of HTTP, the protocol is MSMSDT, which is nothing but the Microsoft Support Diagnostics tool. And following it are some arguments and then it is invoking a PowerShell expression as a base64 string. Now this is the vulnerability. Windows will blindly execute this PowerShell expression without any restriction. And this allows the hacker to run code on your computer, resulting in a remote code execution, short for RCE vulnerability. Yeah, it was that simple. Just use the MSDD protocol with some parameters and run any PowerShell expression you like. So whoever prepared this particular Word document obviously already knew about this vulnerability and they have been using it for malicious purposes. So God knows how long this zero day exploit existed in the wild and how many people were victims for this. In order to exploit this, I can just write a PowerShell expression and then base64 encode it and replace the existing base64 in the HTML file with this new base64 string. Then I just have to replace the URL in the documents.xml.rels file with my own URL where this HTML file will be hosted. And that's it. My PowerShell expression will now execute whenever the user opens the document in Microsoft Word. 
What's even more worse is that if this document is saved as rich text file format short for .rtf extension, the PowerShell will be triggered just by previewing the file. So you don't even have to open it. If you just browse to the location where that file is there and you have your preview pane opened in your file explorer, that's it. That will trigger this vulnerability. Shout out to the amazing John Hammond who has written a POC script using which we can automate all of this process. If you want to get a more in-depth explanation about this exploit, check out the video on his channel. It has a really good explanation. So I will simply clone his POC script and here are the usage instructions. So I can run any command I want by using the dash C flag. So I will run this script by inputting the PowerShell command that I want to execute which in this case will display a message pop-up saying hacked and then it takes you to a YouTube video in your default browser. So this will generate the malicious document and now I will just simply transfer it to my Windows 11 machine. And when I open this document in my Windows 11 machine and click on enable editing, this will trigger the PowerShell expression and do its thing. Similarly, I can even get a reverse shell using this same script with the help of netcat binaries. So I will run the script by giving it a listening port with the dash R argument. And this will start a netcat listener on my attacker machine. And when the document is opened or previewed on the Windows machine, it will just give me a reverse shell to my Windows 11 machine. And now I can do anything I want. I can browse files, download them, disable firewalls, run new programs, you name it. Yes, I know it is scary, especially considering that you don't even have to open the file to trigger this vulnerability. You just need to have that preview pane opened in your file explorer and that's it. It will get triggered. But there is a good news. Windows Defender actually started detecting it as a Miss Detty Trojan and it would actually block it. But this doesn't mean that there is a patch out there. The patch doesn't still exist. It is just the antivirus detecting it and blocking it before it can do any damage on your computer. Here is a workaround to protect yourself from this exploit, which is officially posted by Microsoft. You need to simply disable the MSDT URL protocol, which is actually causing this vulnerability. And in order to do that, open up your command prompt as administrator and first back up your registry key with the command reg export hkey classes root backslash ms msdt space a file name. This will create a backup of your registry key. Now you can go ahead and disable the msdt URL protocol with the command reg delete hkey classes root backslash ms msdt slash f. And this will just disable the MSDT URL protocol on your computer and it should make you invulnerable to this Folina exploit. So now even if you open a malicious document, that shouldn't really affect you. So make sure you go ahead and do this. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below and also do comment in the comment section. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.